So, hello, it is Thursday, and basically, I don't have a video for tomorrow, so we're doing a day in the life. I think it'll probably just be me doing my dissertation. Um, we've got Ugly Bugly with us. Um, he's not very good at it. But also, if you watched my video last week, basically said my dissertation was shit. I was not wrong. I signed up to do developmental and I was put in doing placebo effects in depression. Where's the link? There's none. It's barely even clinical because it's actually how psychology placebo effects. I basically told the head of the year, I was like, this is a shit dissertation. I don't want to do it. And then I was like, can I move to another supervisor? He was like, all the other supervisors were full. I was like, please, please. So then my supervisor emailed me and he was like, I heard you wanted to discuss the project. I was like, I don't don't want to discuss it, I don't want to do it. But we then discussed the project and it turns out he had another project running anyway. So I'm no longer doing placebo effects in depression, which is good because that's boring, bad because that's easy. I'm now doing the effect of COVID infection on the central nervous system and psychopathology of children. So like, what I've, what I've read so far has basically said a lot of people who've had COVID have developed psychosis symptoms because of neuroinflammation. So it's quite, it's more interesting. I still don't really know where we're going because we've had absolutely no guidance, absolutely no direction on our dissertation. But I'll show you what I've done so far. Basically we have, I'm not gonna lie, absolutely no idea how to do our dissertations. We've not been told anything. We were given, we were shown a PowerPoint that was like how to write a lit review, but it actually doesn't tell you how to write a lit review. So that's really good. But basically what I've done is just made a big Google document of everything. It's 29 pages. I've basically tried to kind of write out the keywords. So I've got consequences of COVID-19 infection on the central nervous system and psychopathology of children. I've then tried to find this synonyms for each one. So when I search it, like sometimes it's not referred to as COVID-19. So I could be ignoring papers if I put COVID-19 because it could be referred to as COVID or coronavirus. And then like children are referred to as children, adolescent, youth, teenager, child, teen, adolescence, childhood. Anyone under the age of 18 is a child. I then basically went on the, I think it's called EBSCO. I don't know if that's the university's library website, but I basically used that to search. And they had a couple of searches. My first one, I searched neuropsychiatric and I literally, I got 10 results. I was like, that was shit. Then I got 67, and then I got 108, and that was searching in just the title. Then I changed it to search in the abstract, and I got 718. I then imported them into Rayon. The only, the only reason I actually know about this, the only reason I know it exists, is because I did a virtual research assistant scheme with someone who's doing their doctoral thesis, and they showed me this. So basically I went on Rayon, I imported all of these searches and then I included and excluded them. So I excluded 479 of them, which was most of the studies because most of them ended up being completely irrelevant. Like a lot of it was actually about medication, um, the geriatric population, like a lot of it was completely unrelevant, irrelevant. So then I included 36 of them and then, basically what I'm doing is, I think there's something called PRISM? Don't entirely know. And for that, you have to follow like a specific search strategy. So let me show that as well. Yeah, so it's called PRISMA. I keep reading about it when I'm going to do lit reviews and stuff. And basically, it's PRISMA don't really understand it, but basically I've just written down everything I've got. So I found, I used seven databases, and I wrote them all down, and then there was 59 duplicates, so I only ended up screening 459 of them. 421 of them were then excluded because they weren't relevant. 38 of them were then sought for retrieval, so I then checked if I could find them, but I couldn't find two of them, and that left me with 36 to read. So if we then go back into my search strategy. Also, the only reason I know how to do any of this is because um, my supervisor for my virtual research assistant scheme was really good. Otherwise, I've not been taught any of this. 
So then, this was before I even started searching, I was just Googling random bits and I was Googling like the neuropsychiatry of COVID and like the bits that it's affected. So then we have this, which is I've taken the title paper, the paper, the location for all of them. So I have like this one, I couldn't find the full text, it doesn't exist and therefore I can't read it. I can't even access it through the university. So then what I've been doing is writing everything down to look for the key ideas. So currently I've read two of them, but also most of these papers are saying the same thing. Like it's all about psychosis, something to do with kind of inflammation because they were then treated with some kind of protein. I wrote, I wrote it down somewhere, like some kind of immune protein and that basically fixed it. So we then have all of that so I now just need to kind of read all of these and then figure out if they're relevant and link them back into the Prisma thing. So, update on today, I've now watched mm, four or five Barbie films just today. Yesterday I watched most of them. I've watched Nutcracker, Rapunzel, I think I watched Magic of the Rainbow today, I'm not sure if that was yesterday. Diamond Castle, I'm now watching 12 Unfamed Princesses. Maybe Fashion Fairy Tale today, but that could have been yesterday. Just working my way through them because I've got nothing else to do. So we've currently got 12 Dancing Princesses and I have finished my summary. So I now actually only have like 14 studies. So if I go on my word, if I go on my Prisma diagram, what have we got? Yeah, I've literally only got 14 out of the 500 that I found, I think, because none of them are relevant and all of them are case studies. So now what I've done is I've tried to make, where is it? This is such a long document, we're on page 57. I've tried to make an outline, but I don't really know how to structure a dissertation, funnily enough. So I'm not sure, I can write the method 
and I can probably write the intro, but I'm not exactly sure how to write, I mean, anything else.